Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to the channel if you're new here. So one of the main questions that I get is, what is the difference between a base coat and a top coat and are they interchangeable? They're not interchangeable and they have many differences. So I first wanna go through some facts about what base coats are, what they're made for, some of the benefits of using a base coat and then we're gonna talk about the same thing but about top coats. And then I wanna go over some key points that I want you guys to think about whenever we have the conversation about base coats and top coats. And then I'm gonna go over popular types of base coats that we have and popular types of top coats. And I hope that this conversation gives you guys some more insight. And this is probably gonna be geared more towards beginners because I feel like if you, you know, have been doing your nails for a long time, you've probably already heard about these things. So if you're new to doing your nails at home, this video is gonna be very useful. All right, so one key thing that a uh, base coat is gonna do um, is going to provide a layer of protection to your natural nail, okay? You can even wear a base coat by themselves sometimes. Now, not all base coats are made to be worn by themselves because they're made to be the first layer and then you're supposed to put nail polish and other things on top. So not all formulations of base coats wear nicely on their own. Some of them you're gonna notice that they chip easily or they wear out, you know, but some of them do. So. Um, it's gonna be, you know, you're gonna have to try yours and see if you can wear it by itself. But that's one thing, right? Um, it's, it's made to protect your natural nail. Another property of base coats is that they are built to adhere easily to the naked nail, right? Um, there are a lot of nail polishes that have formulations that say that you don't need a base coat. That's because in the formulation, they have already created things that um, allow adherence to the natural nail. A lot of nail polishes, however, excuse Max in the background, he wanted to be part of the video. <laughs> A lot of nail polishes, however, are not formulated to adhere nicely to the naked nail. They expect that you're going to have a base coat. So the base coat has these properties that attach nicely to the natural nail. Now, another thing that base coats do is that they help mask like the imperfections on the natural nail so that the nail polish application is smoother. Not only so that the nail polish lasts longer, but so that it also applies nicer, right? Uh, and even base coats that are not rich fillers um, are going to help you create the smooth canvas so you can paint on top of it. Now, when it comes to covering up the imperfections on the natural nail, ridge filling base coats, um, sorry, do a little bit of a better job sometimes. And I say sometimes because it depends on the brand, right? Like if you compare a good ridge filler to a bad base coat, then you know, that's gonna be a different thing than if you compare a bad ridge filler to a good base coat. So assuming that the products that you're comparing against are good products, um, ridge filling base coats tend to provide like a thicker, um, cover up, let's say, right? So depending also on how deep the grooves on your nails are, a ridge filling base coat might be more appropriate for you to create that smooth canvas on the nail. So quick summary, they're made to adhere nicely to the naked nail. They're made so that nail polish adheres nicely to it. It works as a layer of protection to cover up um, your nail from like nail polish or whatever else might, might be happening in your, you know, your lifestyle. And it also help mask imperfections for like a more, how to say, like a smoother paint job if you're gonna put nail polish on top. All right, so now when we talk about top coats, they're made to quote unquote withstand the elements <laughs> a little bit better than nail polish by itself or even base coats. So they're, they're made to be the last layer of the manicure. And then they also are made to provide a lot of shine to your manicure or in the case of a matte top coat to provide a matte finish. A lot of them are also made to be quick drying, not all, right? But a bunch of them are, so that's a property of a top coat. And I want you guys to think of a top coat as your shield. It's kind of like a shield for your manicure, right? They help prevent dents, chips, things like that. I keep hitting things in my table. So yeah, those are like the main properties of a top coat, but at the end of the day is like, I always say like, wrap up your manicure with a bow on top, right? Like you, it's the last step, you know, the finishing touches. So, you know, a question that I get all the time on my Instagram is like what I was saying, are they interchangeable? Is this just a marketing scheme to get me to buy two products? And you guys know, like I'm always like telling you guys about a bunch of products that you don't need. And whenever I see things that are being claimed, I'm like, this is a bunch of BS, right? I tell you this on my Instagram all the time. This is not the case, right? Like in my opinion, um, you know how you have sometimes two in one shampoo and conditioner? Yeah, they're gonna kind of do the job, but it's not the, gonna be the best shampoo nor the best conditioner. Right now, if that's the only thing you have, of course, it's better to use that than to not use anything at all. Um, the same applies here, right? Um, a two in one is not going to be the best. We already talked about the purposes of the base coats and the purposes of the top coat. And when you have a two in one, it's like 
how can you possibly do both, right? I mean, I should I should reword that and say, how can you possibly do both things the best, you know? I don't I don't think you can. I think it, you're always gonna be better off if, if you can, right? To get a good base coat and a good top coat versus a product that does two in one. Um, same analogy, you know, with the shampoo and conditioner. I like to always kind of try and tie, tie things together with analogies related to hair or skin because they think, you know, they think people get those, right? When you put analogies with hair products and skin products, people get it. Somehow when it comes to nails, Everything's a bit foreign, right? So if you think about two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, if you really want a good shampoo and conditioner, you're probably not gonna get a two-in-one. So the same would apply here when you keep that in mind. Now, again, I also want you to remember if you, the only thing you have is a two-in-one, it is better than not, you know, having nothing at all, right? But if you're out there looking for these products, I would say get a good base coat and get a good top coat. Don't get a two-in-one. All right, so let's talk real quick about the different types of base coats. I want you guys to think about um, three main, right? And this is probably not the only one. And within each category, you can probably go deeper and get more nuanced. But in general, you have your regular base coats, which are just regular, right? You just said a regular base coats. You're going to see the most in the market. And then you guys have what are rich fillers, which tend to be a little bit more like they look cloudy in the bottle. And when you apply them, they have a more milky kind of um, look to them. Whereas regular base will tend to be clear. Excuse all the noise, you guys. And then furthermore, the third thing that I would say is peel off base coats, which are specific type of base coat that you put it on and is made to do all the opposite than what a base coat does. Base coat is supposed to anchor nail polish. Peel off base coat is made to create a barrier between your nail and the polish so that you can peel off the nail polish. Um, so that's a, that's a third thing. And then there are other types of base coats that are formulated for specific things. Like I have here this one from Holo Taco, um, the quick dry base. This one came with their chrome uh, collection um, and it was supposed to create a nice surface for that specific formulation of polish. So those things also exist, right? Like specific base coats for specific purposes. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna be able to use this for other polishes, I, I will. But, you know, the brand indicated that this was, for some reason, you know, formulated for that specific um, collection. And I think it has to do with the fact that it's quick dry and it's not going to pull or make the chrome nail polish, like, chunky or whatever. So keep in mind that there's also, like, specific base coats you can find for specific things. Then when it comes to top coats, you have regular top coats, right? And then you probably have some that are marketed as quick drying, right? Top coats that are quick dry tend to get thicker in the bottle, but they also do dry faster. Um, it depends. And they also provide some shrinkage on the polish, whereas top coats that dry the normal way, Max is really wanting to be in this video, they they don't dry as fast. So, you, you know, you have to see what properties matter to you. Um, and then they also don't shrink and then they don't go thicker in the bottle. So you, you kind of have to see, like, do you prefer that they dry faster or do you prefer that they... Maybe they don't dry faster, but they don't get thick or you don't get shrinkage. You know, I'm not gonna go into those details, but just there's quick dries, there's regular drying ones. And then there's also matte top coat. I don't have a bottle handy, so I didn't bring one. But basically when you apply it, it just gives you a matte finish. Regard, regardless of how the nail polish looks, it applies, you, you apply the matte top coat on them and it creates a matte look on your manicure. So key takeaways from this video, base coat and top coats are not a marketing scheme. They're not interchangeable and you should just grab one good base coat and one good top coat that you like, that you enjoy using, and just get used to it. Get used to using them always. Make it part of your manicure um, routine. Um, I have a video here that I'm gonna link up that has 10 tips for making sure your manicure lasts longer and it doesn't chip as much. You're gonna notice that there's a step there for base coat and one for top coat, and when you see the reasons, this video is gonna be, it's gonna come to mind, right? So. Definitely invest in a good base coat and a good top coat. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and we'll talk about it. But yeah, I hope this was useful. Thank you guys for clicking on my video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.